Ah, get over here. Don't think that you can just get away. Now where's my... Ah, there's my rope. Hey, stop squirming so much. There, got the wrists. Now I just need to... Hey, get back here. Okay, just a little more, and... There, finished. Jeez, you could stop struggling now that I'm done tying you up. It's not like you can still escape. Don't you get tired or something? You know, you put up more of a fight squirming than you did battling. If you could fight as good as you squirm, maybe I'd be the one that's tied up in ropes right now. Hmm. Well, it seems like I've tied you up pretty nicely. No chance of you getting away. What? It's too tight? Oh, quit your whining, would you? You're a captive warrior. You're not exactly supposed to be in a comfortable position right now. In fact, I'm actually going easy on you. Normally, captives are restrained in chains, which are way more uncomfortable to be tied up in, and they're much heavier too. So simply walking would be really painful for you. Now, <clears throat> go sit on that chair. Sit. Good. Now you might want to listen closely to what I have to say next, because it could determine what your fate will be. First, let me explain the situation that you're in. Your army has lost the battle. In fact, it was quite a landslide in our favour. And now you're my captive. We will be camping here for one night's rest, and you have no chance of escaping. You can't even get out of these ropes that bind you. Even if you do, there are soldiers everywhere. And it doesn't help your cause that we're in the centre tent. Tomorrow, we will head back to our country, and we're taking all of our captives with us. When we get back there, you'll be thrown in prison, where you'll be executed shortly afterwards, due to being an enemy of our country. And don't think it's as simple as cutting off your head. And don't think it's as simple as cutting off your head. My country doesn't take kindly to war criminals. Heh. <laughs> don't call us cruel. Fools like your king cause nothing but trouble and disturbance to us and other nations. There are a bunch of pests that need to be wiped off this land. And of course the foolish pawns who follow these foolish rulers are also guilty and deserving of retribution. But alas, I was taught to have mercy while growing up. Of course, not everyone is deserving of such mercy. But you seem... I'm not sure how to say it. I don't know, there's something about you that doesn't make me want to kill you. Usually when I see enemies, I simply want to do nothing but dice them into little pieces. But you don't seem to induce that urge for some reason. Maybe it's because you, out of all people, at least thought like you had a desire to win. And as a result, I'm offering you an alternative. I can allow you to live, but under one condition. You'll be my servant. I will command you to do tasks for me, and you must obey everything I say to you. And if you don't, or if you do anything that upsets me, then you'll be punished. But don't worry, I won't make anything too difficult or humiliating. And if you serve me well, I will treat you with respect and kindness, just like my other servants. You know, I'm known for being the general who's nice to his subordinates in the army. After all... As a leader, it's your responsibility to nicely treat those who follow you, as they have offered you their loyalty and service. It's only reasonable that I treat them with the decency they deserve. Make no mistake, I won't tolerate disobedience, and I won't hesitate to punish anyone, but only when warranted. Otherwise, I'm quite a kind superior. And of course... If you decline this offer, you will be put to death with no mercy. I'm offering you quite a good deal, right? You still get to live a normal life, and all you have to sacrifice is some freedom. 
okay, a lot of freedom. But as I've said before, as long as you're a good servant, I will treat you well and nothing bad will happen to you. You can live a new life as the servant of a well-respected general. Sure, you might lose some honour, but I'm certain you can regain it in your new life as my follower. Besides, do you really consider your position right now to be honourable? Thanks to the incompetence of your foolish king, your army failed to defeat us. All resulting in you dying an awful death. And there's no way your king will avenge you. He's way too weak to do that. Furthermore, surely you've heard that our country has been winning battles left and right. It's only a matter of time before we defeat your king. And we will. Trust me on that. It's not like you haven't straight up experienced it yourself. And when we take over your kingdom, anyone who opposes us will have nothing but a grim fate awaiting them. Yet, if you join my side, you'll get to live a brand new life. As a companion of a well-respected warrior, no less. I'd say it's certainly better than being a pawn of a foolish ruler who can only lead you to your demise. Which you certainly don't deserve, since it could easily be avoided if you had a competent superior. But that's enough talking from me. It's your turn to give an answer. Do you live as a subordinate, or die as a war criminal? Remember... It's your decision. You choose the former. So, do you swear to be my faithful servant? Very well. Now, since you've announced your loyalty to me, allow me to untie you. I really did tie you pretty tight, huh? Sorry if it hurts, just give me a moment. Ah, there. But wait. I'm not letting you entirely free just yet. I'm putting these metal chains and shackles on you for now. If I find you trustworthy after a few days, then I'll take them off. Then you'll be truly considered one of us. These are the lightest shackles we have, and the chains are rather long, so they won't hinder you too much. Now, let's get started with something simple. Go pour a cup of tea for me. The kettle is right there. And again, don't even think about doing anything funny. <sighs> Thank you. I was quite thirsty after a long fight. Alright, let's go to the horse stables. Oh, I hope you don't mind sleeping on the hay. <laughs> No, I'm not going to make you sleep with the horses, fool. I'm getting some hay to make you a makeshift bed for you to sleep on. You're sleeping in my tent so you don't escape. By the way, you never told me your name, although I'd never asked for it. Hmm. Nice name. Well, if you truly wish to serve me, then nice to meet you. Alright, let's go grab some hay, and then we'll get some rest. Tomorrow in the morning, we head back. Hope you're not a sleepyhead. Hmm. <laughs>